folks, and thank you for tuning in to Think Bowling. Uh, this video is gonna be showing you how to, how to use an inside dial caliber and how to actually calibrate it so that you get each and every hole correct. When you get an inside dial caliber, you need to be sure that it's 100% accurate. So the best thing to do is use your, your regular dial caliber. You can set it to any number you want. I like setting it to an even number just so it's easier to see. Put this in. And you can see that this says 84 and this is at 60. You wanna turn this back to 60. There is a zero and a zero. This side will now be even according to this because this is 860. So this side will be the, the even side and this side will be the odd side when you're making a hole to find out what the size is. I wouldn't recommend marking the screen even or odd because if you drop this tool or bang this tool or at least once a month, you should recheck it to make sure that it's 100% accurate. If you have to turn the dial again, it might not end up where it's supposed to be. So we talked about this before. This is the even side and this is the odd side. So when I put this in, I know that this is almost one inch um, because this is the odd side and this is the even side. I've seen a lot of pro shops that will take a drill bit and go in and see that the drill bit is too tight and then go down to this drill bit and this drill bit will go down in. So that's what the oval to whatever this, whatever, whatever particular drill bit that is. This will give you 100% accuracy from ball to ball to know exactly what that hole size is and how wide it is and how, how much to open it up. So that accuracy is key, especially when you're drilling for high end bowlers, a lot of tournament bowlers, this will allow you to get every thumb hole the exact same front to back, side to side. Say this is a customer that walks into the pro shop, you don't drill balls from them, but they want you to drill a bowling ball for them. And you wanna check this thumb hole. Uh, the first thing you would do, check the front to back. This side being even, uh, we're at 895-ish. This ball's been worked out a lot, as you can see, but roughly it's 895 to start. Side to side on this one, you're at 985. So you know exactly what to drill that thumb hole at. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. There will be a link in the description to this particular tool. Obviously there's different manufacturers of this tool, but you will want to get the same uh, sizing for the inside caliber to allow you to do uh, thumb holes and finger holes. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video and we'll see you in the next one.